I'm Cameron Matheson. I'm a software engineer at WorkOS. Um, we are hiring. It's an awesome place. Hit me up. Um, but today I'm actually talking about a side business that I stumbled into um, many years ago and how React Router kind of got me out of a bit of a pickle. Um, so, so it was 2014. We all watched the Honey Pot documentary uh, recently, right? And in 2014, React's gotten pretty popular. I'm feeling pumped about it. We're using it at work um, in, in like a traditional server rendered app, and we're uh, mounting like individual React components here and there. And I'm feeling great about it. I'm, I'm happy about front end development for I think the first time in my career. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So for the side business, I decided I'm going to go all in, and I'm going to do the single page app. I think like SPA is kind of like a newish term at the time. And so I, I built this thing out in React 0.12, React Router 0.12, Bootstrap 3. It, it's a pretty old stack, as you can see. And immediately, I start running into problems that I, I wasn't seeing at work. Um, a lot of them were like state management related. And, and so for, <laughs> yeah, who knew? Um, fortunately, Flux is like hot off the presses. So I, I grab that, and I incorporate it. and. Um, yeah, like I've just emerged in my, you know, from like the golden age of web development in my career, which of course was server rendered Rails, and and I find myself in this kind of like front end quagmire of the uh, spa experience, and and every feature is like tedious to ship and error prone, and I'm miserable, and I'm honestly having a lot of regret about the spa. Um, however, the user experience is great, developer experience is making me sad, and, and so I have to develop these coping strategies, which are. Like, don't ever ship anything. And um, if, if I can justify it to myself, I'll like server render a page in Rails instead of incorporating it in the spa. Uh, none of this is an endorsement. Um, so I'm, I'm always looking for like a way out, something that can help me. Uh, 2015 and 2016 roll around, and GraphQL's like been announced and released. And I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's really cool. Uh, it did feel like a pretty big change on both the back end and the front end. And, and this is like, uh, it's a side business, right? This is my nights and weekends. So it kind of just never happens. Uh, a couple more years roll around and Elixir Live View comes out. I'm, I love Live View. Uh, you'll also notice I have like this horrible personal failing where I adopt technologies way too soon. Um, so, so I throw a few weekends at like experimenting with a rewrite of everything in Elixir. And, and like, th that wasn't going to happen. Um, OK, so Remix comes out. I've played with it uh, for a few little projects. And the loaders and actions are really speaking to my heart. It's not a great fit for my side business, you know, partly because of this like Frankenbeast thing I've built with the spa and the like server rendered appendages. Um, so, so by now, it's 2022. And my front end looks pretty much the same like it did in 2014. And, and I'm starting to get feedback that like, you know, features need to be coming, or or people are going to start looking for something else. And um, that's when I got lucky, and React Router 6.4 was released. And th this was the release that brought the remix loaders and actions into the router. Uh, so I was super pumped. I like immediately jumped on that, incorporated it in my front end. I wrote this like migration strategy slide, but honestly, it was super easy. Uh, the hardest part was getting on a modern version of React and React Router. I, I did all of this while watching trashy reality TV with my wife. Um, but, but basically, you just go route by route, right? And um, I think that's like the uh, thing I wanted to say the most about React Router and the new data loaders is um, it didn't make anything possible that wasn't possible back in 2014. But um, this idea that you, you're router, which knows about all the data you are going to need, will just load it for you. It, it's like super obvious in retrospect, and, and it's been a huge productivity boost for me. Um, I'm shipping features again. My, my data, I'm loading it more granularly now just because it's so ergonomic. And um, at last check, like I had shipped new features, and I'm still a couple hundred lines of code ahead in my diff. So um, I'm here to say the golden age of web development is back. Thanks to React Router. Uh, thanks.